Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm out here with my wife. We're on our way <laughs> traveling over to a cousin's wedding reception. And since we're driving through Utah, I decided to stop here. You might recognize the San Rafael swell there. So I figured I'd try the, uh, the, the, the nodules, the jasper, uh, agate, sometimes in the middle gets the celestite crystals. Jana's just been picking up a few pieces right here that just kind of small little pieces of the stuff. And I wanted to try a place that's a little easier access for people who have maybe just a car. So there's the highway right there. And the gray nomads. And <laughs> you can see people driving. Today was the, uh, the, the ring of fire solar eclipse. So that's the main highway there that goes from the interstate down to uh, Hanksville and and Goblin Valley. And right here in the wash, where I'm going to follow it up, and those hills right there, the lower ones, are the right layer. You know that area over there. That's where we've been searching the past. I wanted to try here closer and just see what can be found. See if it's worth doing this route where you can easily take a car. Oh, and here's the GPS of where I'm parked. Okay, let's go start in the wash and then work our way up into the hills. So I made it to the wash, and so we, we got off on the, the road there and parked over there. But for you guys, it might be a lot easier if you just park along the edge, because there's a ladder that comes up and over the fence here. That's really convenient. And you get right into the wash. So the goal is to follow the wash down to where it goes through those hills there. So I just found this. It's like a, some black turd or flint or something. Well, it looks like maybe there's something going on in it, so I'm going to take it back and cut it open. Okay, this darker rock that basically looks like chert. Figured I'd just cut it and see, and yeah, <laughs> that's about what it is. Basically just chert. Here's a little one. Probably nothing in it, really. So far, that's all we've seen is little things. Well, hopefully we'll find bigger things as we go further. Here's this little one cut open. Well, that's not too bad for a little tiny thing. Nice. Now that one's quite pretty. It's actually translucent. You get a little bit of light going into that orange there. That's a pretty one. Yeah, I like that one. Keep that one. Here's a little bit of the agate. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. That one's the biggest one we've seen so far. That's very flat though. That's <laughs> too bad. Got this nice yellow. This piece right here with some nice yellow in it. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Jenna just found this one. Ooh, look at that nice botryoidal on it. Ooh, that's cool. That's a good looking piece right there. That'll look pretty polished up at some point. So I'm up on the side wall of the stream bed where the river used to be. And we got this thing sticking out. Let's uh, try and get that out there. I'm gonna grab my hand pick. Okay, just dug it out. Oh, look at that. That's a good nodule. That yeah. should look really nice cut. And you can see some nice botryoid on this outside of it there. <sighs> yeah, look at that. Oh, that one's going to be great to cut into. I'm excited for that one. I think we got another good one here on this wall. Maybe? No, nah, it's just a thin, thin piece. I mean, it might still be pretty inside, but... We, we got a lot of these on the other one, and they tended not to be that great. Just found this one. Decent piece of agate. Oh, yeah. I'm right next to the highway now. <laughs> That's decent. And look at the botch road on it. Cool. So the road is on the other side of that hill. I've walked up the wash quite a distance. There's not a lot in the wash, really. So I've been skipping most of it. Here's the first outcrop, though. See that more greenish gray color. That's the layers you're looking for. And you can see I'm poking out a little bit over here too. Uh, lower down though, just kind of a little bit there. Yeah, it's just kind of a lower edge showing, but we'll uh, be looking through that stuff as we go down. Here's this one cut open. Okay, that's pretty typical for there. Not too bad. Just coming out of the wash and I can already see red all over that hill. And there's one just sitting right there. See if that one looks any good. Has it got a nice round shape to it? Um, mm, 
Nah, I'm pretty sure there'll be better ones. All right, let's get to looking. And I'm parked way down there. That one's a darker color than the ones I'm seeing around here. Huh. Feels really light. Might be hollow. Let's break it, just see. Oh my gosh. I was right. It was hollow. <laughs> Big crystal of selenite right in the middle of it. Bunch of calcites on the edge. Do we see any celestite in there? Uh, maybe a little bit back in there. I can't quite tell. But definitely calcite and selenite in this one. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right. We'll try and look for more that are kind of that dark color and light, of course. Weight makes a big difference. Here I am on the hill. <laughs> There's tons all over. Oh, sorry, I still have macro lens on, but you get the idea. Okay, so I do want you to get a better feel for this area. So you got lots of these thin, flat ones everywhere. Just thin, flat ones all over the place. So you're trying to find the ones that are a little bit more filled out like that see they'll have crystal pockets on the inside and I've already seen lots of celestite grown in tightly in some of these so this would be a good spot to look around for any of the good celestite ones Is this any? Uh, that one's pretty flat as well let's see if we can find some of the good celestite here oh there's some so here's some kind of the white celestite. But there you go. So yeah, there's celestite through here, so let's try and find some good crystal pockets. You can see celestite in that one a little bit. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, now that, I don't know. That be worth cutting it's not one solid mass though it's a bunch of little things you know what i'm gonna try breaking it because <laughs> I, I don't i don't know with this one oh some little pockets in there nothing big yeah it's just a bunch of little ones all right so this first spot while abundant you can see the stuff everywhere. It's mostly flat stuff. And the crystal pockets tend to be small. Things are pretty small. They're really not that great right here. So I'm gonna keep moving on and go to one of the other hills. See if it's better further on. Maybe I was a bit too hasty as I was coming off of it. Look at that one. Nice and solid, rounded look. That'll be a good one to take and cut. Came out with these ones too. And I don't think that one's gonna be any good. I think that one's gonna be the good one. So I'll take that one back. Nice. So it's that hill. And now I'm on this hill and I broke this one that's thicker and look at that. Look at that celestite in the middle there. Completely filled it in. There's a big one sitting right here though. <laughs> this one's nice, big and thick. But I don't know if there's anything in it. I'm gonna break it and just see. Right. Oh, there's a pocket right there. See some crystals in there. What have we got on this side? Oh, just massive where it filled in. But it did have a cool little pocket right there. Yeah, these ones tend to be just full of this celestite. It's really cool. But I'd like to get some pockets with crystals with the celestite. As you can see, people did dig here. This was a place they were digging, looking for that celestite. I wonder if they found anything good. I'm gonna say they did find some good stuff here. This one was just sitting over on this rock where somebody had pulled it out. You can see it had some nice pockets in it, some stuff. So I'm, I'm assuming they found something. Just found this, it's the edge of a broken one, lots of crystals in it. Yep, we'll keep looking. 
I've broken open quite a few of these flatter ones now, and you'll get little pockets of nice calcite in them. But so far, I haven't found any with nice celestite crystals terminated like that. Usually the celestite just tends to fill it in completely. So, got to find some that have the nice celestites. They got to be here somewhere. Now, what is this here? It's a big section of just white. Oh, this actually might just be a huge layer of celestite. That is cool. Wow, big thick layer of celestite. <laughs> that is cool. So I decided to follow it up and start digging and popped out a piece of it. Maybe I should dig into it and see if there's any good crystals on it. So there it is, the vein of celestite running like this and at least that far because I'm seeing stuff over there. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we've got anything good in here. Okay, I just pulled this section out. Anybody need celestite? I got, I got enough. <laughs> Huge thick vein of it. Dang. Be nice if there's terminated crystals in there. I'll break it into it a little bit and just see. Okay, I split into it and it is pretty much just massive. Occasionally it gets tiny little pockets in it where you might get a few crystal edges. And that's about what you get. Like that one's got a partial termination on it. Yeah. Right there you got part of the crystal. <laughs> but it just shatters. Because when you use any force to break this open, they, they tend to just shatter. Which is really unfortunate. I just broke this one open. Bunch of calcite on it. And this side, very nice. And then this one had a large calcite right there, a little broken. But what popped out of it in the center was some selenite that had just grown in the middle of it. <laughs> really cool. Found this one someone had broken open and look at the celestite on it. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think I'll take those home with me. It looks like the calcite grew over the celestite. See, I can see celestite underneath that calcite. So I wonder if you could take something like this and dissolve all the calcite off of it without dissolving the celestite. I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. Might be something worth trying at some point. So I was on those hills over there, and I've decided to come over here now and see what we got. Found a lot more stuff over there. It's mostly the same. Usually thinner things, smaller things, they're not very solid. With like agate and stuff, they mostly have calcite or celestite in them, which is cool. But let's scour these hills, see if there's any difference. Here's this one cut open. It broke a bit, and the reason it broke is because it had a pocket inside. And you can see some celestite crystals on it. Nice. A few little crystals right there. In the center of the pocket. Well, it looks like it has changed a little bit. If you remember on previous excursions out here, we found a lot of stuff like this. A little bit more solid. Yeah. Interesting. Not that pretty. Hopefully there's some better looking ones. So as I came around, I saw that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a, a stick right there for the corner of somebody's claim. I don't know if it's a current claim or if it's an old claim. It doesn't look that old, but it's the only one sticking up I could find. Right there, there's an old one laying down. Old, that one's really old. And then I've looked all over this and I cannot find another stick anywhere. I haven't gone up over that yet, but it's also missing the stick that would have the paperwork for the claim. So. It's probably an older claim, but just because I don't know, I'm going to be safe and not keep anything from right here. Anyway, just thought I'd point that out. I'm still going to be respectful. And until I know for sure, I'm not going to keep anything from this area. And I'm on my way back to the vehicle. It's right over there. So, ooh. Huh, maybe. 
<laughs> anyway, so pretty good day. So yeah, at the end there was that that marker for a claim. So the one I found, so I'm guessing it's an older claim, but just to be safe, I did not collect anything on it. And I'm gonna do some more research, make sure. And if there's no current claim there, then I might come back out to that spot. Some of it looked really pretty. Okay, I'm actually at home inside my house. It's a little blustery outside today and threatening rain and stuff. Um, I just needed to quickly jump in here and say, after doing some research, getting back home about this area, I'm glad that I only went as far as I did. <laughs> I was up to the very border of a lot of different claims. So just keep that in mind. If you ever decide to go out here, kind of stay down in the, the wash. And better yet, maybe let's try the other side of the road. So in this area, <clears throat> The, the wash that I walked up, remember the first hill I came to on the right where I started going up and picking up pieces? That one's safe. That first hill on the right, that's safe. The next two or three hills on the right, the, the part that's sloping down to the wash and up a little ways, that's also safe. There are claims further north of it, but I didn't walk that far, so I, I never saw any of the markers. The very last one, you know, where I said, oh, here's a claim marker, that actually is the border. That is the far east border of a series of claims that head west and north and so on. So good thing. I saw it, pointed out, said I'm not taking anything from here, and I didn't. So yeah, keep that in mind. There are a lot of claims in that area. The spot I walked up to the wash and those few hills on the right, that's about as far as I recommend you go. Don't go any further. There's claims up there. But it does continue on the other side of the road. So maybe a few of you adventurous people will try the other side of the road on the east side in the same layer. And maybe to help you out, here's the GPS coordinates of where I can see the layer poking out on the other side. Maybe give it a shot. And back to the vehicle. It was a good day, found a few things. And I kind of wish I could spend more time out here, but like I said earlier, we got to wedding reception to get to. So, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere. <laughs>